above now in our rising wedge. Rising wedge. Ja. Uh, peaked above to get my shit together and last line of defense before the shit house, which is way down there, right? You can see. Oops, we gotta get that back down there. That's why we always like to go up here and lock them so I can't do stupid things like that. But you can see here with our industry exclusive drawing tool, we hit once on the upper resistance, once on lower support. A whole slew of upper resistance, lower support, and then another peak out right there. So we've confirmed the overall pattern. We've diagnosed and sniffed this out and detected this for you so you could subvert and overt um, the criminal gangster cartel that have been, had, uh, does the market manipulations that flees heist and shice the retail investor to beat them down into a state of submission and government dependency. And the shows on YouTube are out here to promote that. And Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing keeps you three to 10 steps ahead of that, right? And now if you break up out of this, you can see we're getting squeezed and we only have a up until the 25th of August to break out of this consolidation in the daily time frame. And a breakup would bring us to upper resistance at 35 cents. But on the contrary, a breakdown would get you to the upper corner and it would have confluency and make sense because all the moving averages of 50 uh, and the 100 day are there along with the 25 and the 200 are just below that right here at about the 26 level even would be a beautiful spot for this to pump down to right right there so we're going to keep an eye on, on this for you along with this rising uh, wedge what do we know about rising wedges crashing volume rising price is very bearish often a sign the buyers are being exhausted you would like to see some pumping volume and even in the daily time frame as we zoom in to this local pump the volume if you wanted to take it just from here and diagnose it out as we started the pump this is all nice the volume is steadily rising right so that's bullish up to there but then as we go from here on up you have an up and sideways consolidation and a crashing volume and the only volume that comes in right here these two days are uh, major sell volume and the rest of it is decreasing volume so that's very bearish and the technical target is the bottom of the wedge or right at the bottom of the get my shit together and the last line of defense at about uh 18 cents so that's what we're watching for if this breaks down your first uh spot to break down would be to the moving averages right about 26 cents then you could bounce up um to overhead resistance which would be fucking trading view which would be probably right there as you moved up into that into the future right because you drag you, all you do is simply drag your old lines down um but on the break up it would be to upper resistance with our industry exclusive drawing tool which would make sense and remember as we always zoom out to the far out time frame so you can know where you're coming from in order to predict where you may be going in a super simple, easy way to trade this manipulated market with the criminal gangster cartel that have fleeced, heisted, and shisted the world's economies and the world banking systems to beat us down into a state of submission to knock us out of the trading world only to get us to buy back in at the tops. And that's what Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing is here to help you avoid uh, those train rocks and those pitfalls as we clean up this hideous chart and make it gorgeous, right? But you notice that after we had a steady, had a steady uh, crash, now we've had a nice pump. But if we look at the overall volume, we had major volume in this pump initially, but it was still crashing compared to what happened back there. To get that little pump, look at all that volume we had. Huge volume to get this little pump. But then to get this last run up, the volume was not nearly as big as that. And it crashed considerably in and out to this next pump. It's even lower so each pump has got bigger until this one but the volume is crashing that leads me to believe this is not getting way up here there's just not enough volume it's topping out now it could still trickle up a little bit higher overall but i do not see any way it gets back up here to the saturday night live hype train and where the jabroni killer and his brother his twin brother the duck or the duck hunter was formed before that and the jabroni killer with our industry exclusive perching tool right here is the twin brother of the duck hunter the jabroni killer who had a part-time 
job on the Saturday Night Live, in the Elon Musk, in the Jeff Bezos, in his private airplane, and this was the Saturday Night Live hype train killer, right? But it actually turned out to be the coin killer, as we see now. Everyone thought right here where this is circle, the price was bam! Saturday Night Live going to be way up here north of a dollar, and Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing was the only one out in front of that that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday saying, nope, you should be selling into this pump because this is a classic blow-off top hype train and it's going to crash. And I said, quote, as soon as Elon Musk takes the stage, the price is going to crash. And what happened? It pumped up three, four, five percent as he sat down and then bam, 44 and a half percent down while he was on there talking. And you can see it's been all downhill since. And anybody that was in on the hype train that day up now, I was in the 60s, way up at the top at 56 cents, even though I got about 10 cents higher. If they haven't averaged anything and they're down 40, 45, 50% still right now, they're getting hammered. They've been fleeced, heisted, and shisted, and they don't know what to do, right? So, so we're going to keep an eye out on that for you. That's what you're in. You're in that, right? You're in that rising wedge in the daily time frame. We got you, your breakup targets up and down. We'll keep you updated on that. And as we go into XLMs and the same thing, but XLMs in a rising channel, which is essentially the same thing. And you can see the other day we went over this, what it could do when it was down here on the 19th of August at about 35 cents. We showed you the pump up price, how you could go to top end potential of 40. Or if you fail the hold, how you can come down here to the next level down to 30 cents. And right now you've kind of split the middle. You had a nice pump up off the lower resistance at